What is going on my friends? Ken the Gamer 04 and welcome back to LA Nord. We are back in this game finally after taking a break. But we are going to do the studio secretary murder. Um I feel as if this gameplay is going to get interesting. Uh a couple weeks ago I did try recording this but I missed one spot in the whole like thing so i was very mad and upset so i was just like you know what <laughs> and i stopped for a while i just was like yeah no not doing this yeah i'm thinking of moving up to a 45 i want to but uh one round. i believe a skeleton goes into a bar in order are to we and a oh we're not restarting this whole thing no we really should we really should because um there's one part that i missed <clears throat> there was one part that I missed, and you know what? I just realized that I could have went, oh my god, all right, all right. Yeah, that's dumb. So it looks like that she's drunk. Of course we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Guys, let me just say that it's been a really long week for me, and I'm, like, getting ready to do some in-real-life stuff tomorrow. So I'm probably going to keep... I'm probably going to do, like, a live stream of some sort, like a chill live stream on Friday. So, yeah. But anyway, let's continue the gameplay. <clears throat> I do sincerely apologize, but I do... I do have to do some stuff in real life. And then I'm going to be busy for the next, like, few days, so I don't know if I'm going to have, like, Friday out or not. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Is that what your old man I don't know if I'm going to have Friday out or not. I kind of hope I will, but, I mean, if I don't, then I don't. I do apologize. Um, let's see. Do I want to go to the pawnbroker, or do I want to go... Uh... I mean, let's see. You know what? We'll go there. We'll go there. I'm gonna have him drive. He's gonna almost get hit by a car, so that's nice. But um, yeah, it's it's just been a hectic week for me, and I'm I'm probably gonna do like a really chill live stream on Friday. Um. What is he doing? He's kind of uh, having a seizure trying to get into the car. You know the way. You can drive. You've got to admit, this is looking Okay, high. there we yeah, go. I was like, what is going on? If you take it along with all of the other indicators. Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. My God. Yeah, no, it's been a whole week. Like this, whatever I'm trying to say. It's been a whirlwind of a week. So I'm, I'm literally just realizing that I could have went back and done that um, extra critical, or that critical that I missed, because I couldn't proceed to the case, and I got so mad. 
that I just was like, you know what, I am done. <clears throat> but we are going to continue. I mean, we're going to do this from the very beginning again. But yeah. So. How can I help you, boys? I. You can help me. Bye. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, yeah. LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Interesting. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, really. Thanks for the tip, my guy. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. But does it, though? Okay. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. <laughs> medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. So now what? I think we go to the investigation now. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, you're behind the Come wheel. On. Where are We're we going at? to the uh, rally yard. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Clark County address. The address is bogus. Herb is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who's on the Oh, come on. He just How hit a freaking car. Percy Bysshe Shelley hit and run. With the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. And the man who killed Elizabeth Shore may have also killed Deirdre Mullen. Sorry that you're here barking. How do we prove that, though? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one. My uh, brother came home from school, so they're all barking. So, yeah, that's cool. But uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday so far. Friday might be a Mission Chief chill live stream. I'm uh, probably going to play Mission Chief. It's going to be one of them really chill live streams. You boys ready? Follow me. Yeah, we'll follow We should keep this dude. development with the rings under our hat until we speak. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, fella. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. <clears throat> I think that this woman yeah. isn't making. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Well, what do we got here? Hope we don't have any trouble. Nah, you ain't gonna have any trouble. Looks like they were. And, uh, what's this? We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's gonna be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Oh. Interesting. Alright, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Get back down there. Come on. I forgot the bar. Whatever this one is. Oh, what's this? 
Mm. Maybe someone at Menches will remember her. Menches. Menches is interesting. And we got this. Look your store. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Could be. Okay, so now what? Do we go to the body or do we call the corner? Like, what do we do? He's keeping an eye on him. So, my question is... I wonder if we come over here. Maybe we do. Or do we talk to the... Well, you know what? You know what? Let's talk to the corner. Let's talk to the corner. Brothers, Pinker, whatever your name is. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Interesting. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Hmm. Definite vagrancy. Nothing too much on her uh, hands. But there's a stolen wedding ring again. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. All right, I guess we're going to go talk to this guy now. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Interesting. Let's go over here now to this guy. What's up, Detective dude? Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. Ooh. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Beautiful day. Hope we don't have any trouble. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, interference with you the evidence. Her purse. It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. <laughs> Okay. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Mm. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Ah, oh, there he goes again. Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. 
Well, I guess we can go to the payphone. See what's going on. Oh, game well. Game well, whatever it is. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor. Close the store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks. So, we're going to go to the liquor store. We're going to go see what's up. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? We're going to the liquor store. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. There wasn't Read really that much to investigate Chinese there. Those Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. Want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country over there, you think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Things that make me go, hmm, that's for sure. And there goes the dogs yet again. Sorry that you can probably hear them. Probably not. I don't friggin' know. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? Evelyn? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us please? some of her stuff here? Sure. Are you Come serious? Thank you. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. No, you let us taste them for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. We she sure hope so. Here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. There's a lot to take a look at. Of course, this uh, bowling pin here. What's a bowling pin doing here? Rowling's bowling. Rowling's bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rowling's. I know that place. Corner I'd be of surprised. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Yeah, a lot of cops bowl there Tuesday nights. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Or sometimes she was uh, killed. And this guy. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked yeah. in legal copyrights for music. Say, so it looks like it's the 1938, for God's sake. Hmm. Move on to this photo here. She wasn't always such a loner. That is true. She hasn't been such a loner. Loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. 
And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Well, well, well. Mm hmm. I believe that for a second. Well, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Now, if we kind of go back up to the front. Definitely have to ask him quite a few questions. What? I mean... <clears throat> let's see. Last contact with victim? I think we'll do that. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit? To pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Interesting. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Hmm. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? Definitely a doubt him. right there. Because obviously, well, there's a book signed. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Yeah, first we'll get the guy, that's for sure. You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed? We're going to the bar. Guess to see what's going on in here. I guess. I mean, do you want to really go see what's happening in here? Okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. Let's go see what's going on. No. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here. Pain in the drinks, ass. Never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Dunk. Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Okay, I'll ask Mr. What's your name? Book boy over here. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Interesting. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Hmm. I doubt him on this one. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? 
industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. Uh, lie? You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Uh, what about the book? Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Guess we can go hit up this guy over here. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Yeah, I'm leaving. Now what? You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Let's go to the bowling alley. Why not? Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Car 11K, car 11K, KGB. You're behind the wheel. Why? Come on, dude. I think we're going back to the police station. Oh, boy. Yeah, I knew it. I only remember the I, I remember part of this mission. So I think we got to go downstairs, right? Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Where's downstairs? I completely hey, forgot where it was. Oh yeah, we go down here. That's right. Yeah, I remember part of this mission. That's why I'm like, all right, I know it's bad cop, good cop, blah, 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 blah. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? It's all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy? Doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Interesting. So I guess we have to go we got our orders. Back, back upstairs. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Do we have a telephone we can use? 
There it is. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. Cool. So, let's go to the bowling alley. Let keep planned. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Going to the bowling alley, dummy head. Let me pose a question. Pens. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slam ever found out. But, like, what did he find out exactly? Also, this bowling alley is really, really nice. Like, it's unbelievable. I know that we do get into car chase, too. I remember this part. It was like towards the end of the mission. I was like, uh, I was doing, I was saying something. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tiernan. He's a pin setter. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. It stuck in my mind because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy, Florence? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. So, this guy runs from us. Uh, it looks like he's running right now. I, I don't... Tiernan! LAPD! I saw him hop in the lanes. Might have been him. Let's go zoomies. What are you waiting for? Get after him! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These that are flashy was a great cars insult. to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn. Or a middle aged individual with the need to feel virile. I'll try to shoot out the tires. Wish me luck. Another runner. At least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Phelps, you gotta get me closer! Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road! If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. Best unless he runs into a wall and saves us all the trouble. Steady and I'll try to that the end of that. About fucking time. Call me a red basher, but I think we should look in on that fellow traveler from the bar. That McCaffrey guy. <laughs> Hands behind your head. Oh man, that was great. Everyone get away. What, what what do you mean everyone? What do you mean everyone get away? Oh, this whole thing is glitched. Oh, that whole part is kind of glitched out. Is he standing? Okay, yeah, that part is kind of glitched out, wouldn't you say? You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Uh, we're going to McCaffrey's apartment. I know we chase him, too. We chase McCaffrey.
We investigate his apartment. We go chase McCaffrey. Blah, 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 blah. And then... We go back to the police station. And I think that's where I was stuck at. I'm pretty sure I was stuck there. For what reason? A reason. I was stuck there because... Oh, I was... I was stuck there. So six. Or half reason apartment six. Oh, uh, the guy knew that. <laughs> oh man, I heard the dispatcher earlier. So one, three, and four. So we need to go up. Gotta go uppies, uppy distairsies. And then we kinda go yoink. And then we go. Uh-huh. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Yeah. No one's home. Terrible shame. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? Sure thing. Kaboom. All right. Let's go check around this whole entire area. Boop, boop, boop. Maybe if... No. I don't know. The thing went off, so I'm like, oh. Well, here's the other half of this note. So... Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Oh, God, yeah. Doesn't it ever... Doesn't look like anything. Oh, wait a minute. The bloody stuff on the floor. We got a uh, pipe thing here. Tire iron. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Yeah. Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can write him up for that. A citation, at least. It's a bloody, uh, bloody shirt there. Okay. Let's go upstairs. That's the cop from the newspapers. I know it is. So I chase him. And then it's just like, it's just interesting. McCaffrey! Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit Good down and we'll talk. Son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Yeah. So we just we chase him and then I, we take him back to the police station and then that's kind of where. Uh, that's kind of where we, you know, end up at, really. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight! There he is, officer! Obviously. Give it up, LAPD! Yeah. McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Well, his body's having a seizure. I don't know if you saw that, but he's kind of shaking a little bit. I think he was kind of 
kind of having a seizure, it looks like. To wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Karen set him up. Yeah. I don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Uh, he probably did. did. That Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Yeah, I'll hold you to that too. Definitely I'll hold you to them. Oh man. I cut the grass at the fire hall yesterday and I'm so sunburned. It is not funny. Holy crap. I was out there for like a good seven hours cutting the lawn. So I, I wasn't that happy. When I came back you inside sure and I was like looking at myself to see how sunburned I was. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. Aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want the confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Don't fail me, young Phelps. Okay. Where do we go? Do we go interview one or interview two? I think we could come down here. Interview room two? No. One, one, I'm gonna do one. One's always first. Where's... There he is. Hello, buddy. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. But why? Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to accuse him. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than the friends? The book. The book. Right? Gotta be the book. Or was it... Oh, wait. Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Book? What about this? This one. McCaffrey yes! gave you up, Tiernan. Yes. He says he saw you go into your hotel okay. with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night we Thank went God, to dude. Thank and God. Some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this. No. There isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> All right. What about the victim's book? Aristotle's Metaphysics. The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. Doubt. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he Look how close he's getting. Holy speak, crap. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Okay, what about the alibi? You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Ah, you do too. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! Now what? Now what? Drinking. So I'm gonna say it's the. She left, but she came. Back. Okay, good. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, "You're in deep trouble, buddy." She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. 
she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey was a writer, McCaffrey was a hero, McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. You might as well have? She Excuse me? Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? We use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Dude. The coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. See, this is where... I'm gonna leave. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key. A present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're gonna to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Let's go talk to Tierney and see what he has to say. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Okay, interrogation room two. I gave his wife a tap. I said, all fair and love him more. Hi, buddy. You ready to answer some questions? Do you think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Alibi? Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Mm. You lying. lying. McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Um, I'm going to say the torn letter. Go yes. Augusta Summers' last correspondence with her daughter. What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. What an idiot. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I'm gonna accuse you. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to You kill can Evelyn. prove. Okay. I'm going to go with the chairman's accusation. Tierman is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay. I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Interesting. So now we're playing back and forth. You look at this clown. We're going to go back and talk to Tiernan now. Say we bust in there and find the guy or evidence. do we use the telephone see him? i don't know why he told me to use the telephone i'm gonna go back to one though and see what he has to say you spoken to mccaffrey i can go it's all been cleared up not quite no we have one more question we need to ask james then i think we will be done sure go ahead <laughs> so evelyn passed out 
and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning, very hungover. I thought Evelyn would come back. Oh, come on. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? The accusation? Has to be. Yeah, you baby. wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. Okay. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. Okay. And he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn. And that it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. And I don't know, Detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. Was it me? I don't know. I'm going to leave the interrogation and see what happens. Wait here. I think we have to go now. What do we go? Ah, uh, do we go to the phone? Do we talk to the phone? Parker or Blaine? I don't know who these I'm Operator, gonna say we do that. Putting you through now. Phelps. Phelps. One, two, four, one, two, four seven. seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks, ma'am. That was a different person that we have heard other than the usual that we've he heard. Okay, uh, uh, I guess. Well, you don't see that every day. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. You go back in here and sit him down, and what's up, dude? Military you were service. In the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. Yeah, you told us that. I remember that. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? I'm going to say Godfrey. that you're lying. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Um, because of McCaffrey's criminal record. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. He's never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet! I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? Good. How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Hmm. I'm gonna... Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm gonna I'm charge you. you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Did I, though? I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. Creature? The grand creature? <laughs> he just called him a creature. A My God. For an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. 
So now what? Are we done with the case? Please? Are we done? Imagine if the game crashed. Oh, look at that. Nice. Governor McCaffrey, Govsner, can write a tell, tell all memoir from his cell on death row. Let's go. We finally completed it. All right. That'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more action. I will possibly catch you guys on Friday. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.